What's up guys, it's the Spent Man coming to you from the beautiful woods of the North Country. Uh, today, I'm going to be talking about the lessons of sovereignty because the uh, double-edged sword of sovereignty is uh, cutting up collective culture into these little shards and itty bitty pieces uh, so much these days especially on social media and uh, I should know better than to expect anything different um, on social media but I gotta <laughs> I gotta get this out and get it off my chest um, but I'll lay down a little bit of background here. I used to play in punk rock bands and uh, ran around with uh, a bunch of rebellious punk rockers when I was younger. And I'm still connected with some of these people on social media. And I've been seeing this shift from uh, the archetypal outlaw or the archetypal rebel to the authoritarian um, in the past few years and I saw an ad for a quote-unquote uh, punk rock show that was going on in Boston that required proof of the Jabberwocky uh, for entrance or to pay to get in <laughs> and uh this is not even a mandate or a town or city ordinance or anything like that this is people willingly uh discriminating against other people's health status and this is also among a group that uh pretends to be um, all about the civil rights movement and uh, equality and all these other things. And uh, another, another uh, exhibit of this that I've been seeing, the unlearned lessons of sovereignty, is these people that support mandatory jabbing or uh, supporting the mandatory Jabberwocky, as I like to call it, and then uh, being really upset over uh, restrictive abortion laws being passed in Texas. And uh, these are all the lessons of individual sovereignty. And uh, there's another side to that one, too. There's a duality to that one where we have uh, the other side of the coin um, that are not really supporting a woman's right to do uh, what they will uh, with their own body and then um, not wanting to uh, get a mandatory injection. So these are the lessons of sovereignty that keep on popping up um, in collective culture and they're popping up um, at the same time for a reason and that reason is for everyone to learn right because when we don't learn and we uh, reject the lessons they just come around and around and around and around again and um, when we ignore the lessons that keep on coming around whether they're collectively in culture or if they're personally um, in our own lives uh, we get sent down or we willingly go down a path of denial and ignorance when we're ignoring the lessons that keep on uh, presenting themselves for us to learn because when we can confront certain positions that we are entrenched in or certain political 
paradigms that we're entrenched in and we can't confront our own ideas and we can't confront our own ego on things, um, we start to just go down these pathways and we don't grow. And that's what we need to do. We need to learn from the lessons of sovereignty and grow from them. And uh, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Individual sovereignty, learn the lessons. Uh, people are their own highest authority, you know, their body, their choice. And uh, there can't be caveats to that. There can't be caveats to personal freedom other than personal responsibility. So that's what I got for you today, guys. Learn from the lessons of sovereignty and uh, don't be one of these discriminatory authoritarian so-called punks. Um, be real, be true, and, uh, you know, stand for individual sovereignty and personal freedoms uh, like a brave and courageous person. Anyway, thanks so much for watching and have a great day from the beautiful North Country. Check out that beautiful North Country view.